Okay, so here we're going to log into WP Engine and create our new site. So you can see I've logged in, I have no sites added on this account. So the first thing I need to do is add a new site. So I'm gonna click add now. And then we end up with this particular list here. You can migrate a site or copy or accept a transfer. We're gonna do the build a new site. So we click get started. At this point, depending on your account settings, if you're an agency, you'll get this screen um, where you can create a site that will be transferable. We're going to say, I will own it and say next. And then what we wanna do is do a blank site. This blank site here will just have the Genesis Pro theme in it, but we're gonna remove some of those things later on. We'll show you how we do that. Next, and then we're doing this website for Parks Golf. So I'm just gonna say Parks Golf. We're gonna set up the production manage, um, item and we're gonna turn on Smart Plugin Manager. Smart Plugin Manager will help keep the website up to date. So from there, I say add site and the website will begin to be installed and that container will be set up. So I'm gonna skip that, we don't need the site monitoring and there we go, Parks Golf is being built. You'll receive an email as soon as it's ready. So now that the website has been created, I get this email from WP Engine that indicates that my environment URL is ready along with my WordPress admin. So what we're going to do is go back to the portal here and just click on the WP Admin button. And that should automatically log me in to the new WordPress install. We also have the URL there, so we can take a look at that. So we can see here that you know there's all the defaults and things in there and we need to start going through and fixing up this site. So the first thing I'm gonna do is dismiss the WordPress settings. Then I'm gonna go into settings, into general and start to update. So this here is Parks Golf, like that. Oops, not gold, golf. Just like that. And we're gonna change the site language because I'm in Australia. And we're gonna change the time to the Sydney time in Australia. Day, month, year. Time all looks okay. Week start is fine as well. Click save changes. All right, so that now has me all working okay there. Next, we're going to look at the reading settings and we've got the discouraged search engines on there. So that's all okay. So we wanna make sure that that's on so that search engines don't cr start crawling the site before I'm finished. Next up, we go to the updates area and we wanna make sure that we've updated everything correctly. So right now, this is 6.3.2 that was installed. Not really sure why that's the case, but we're going to update to 6.4.2. I'm not gonna bother making a backup. The reason being that I've only just done a fresh install. I'm not gonna lose anything except some settings. So I just run that update. Normally before running any updates, you would in fact uh, make sure that you've fixed things up, You know, make sure you run any other updates. You can see here that I need to do a WordPress update. That all looks okay. So now we're on 6.4.2. So this is looking pretty good. Uh, we're gonna go back to updates again, and I'm gonna look at these themes. So we're gonna fix up the themes. Now I don't need the older themes. So we can see here that I've got this block theme that's currently active, 2024, 2021, 2023, all these other themes. So I don't need these old themes because I'm not going to use them. So I'll go ahead and delete them. There's no point keeping things in your site that you don't need. Um, so we just delete them out. So right now, we've now got the 2024 and the active uh, Genesis block theme. Now, I'm not gonna use Genesis blocks for this site, we're gonna use Cadence. So I'm gonna activate the 2024 and then also delete Genesis blocks. So there we go, we're down to one now. Um, next up, we're going to look at plugins. So we look at the installed plugins and we can see here that I've got Genesis blocks, we're gonna deactivate that. Don't want it, so we're gonna get rid of it. And the anti-spam, we don't need it either. So then I'm gonna say delete like that and delete those two. There we go. And now we're at the point where I now have a completely empty site. Um, there's a privacy policy and sample page. If I look at posts, 
you know, there's the hello world post um, and comments. I've got the default comment. So we're going to trash that comment there and then empty the trash. All right, pages. I'm going to leave the pages. The sample and privacy page can stay. And then we're going to go to all posts. And we're also going to trash that hello world. So at this point, I've now got a completely empty install. Um, we'll empty the trash as well. So you go delete permanently like so. And there we go. So now we're at the point where this site is empty. And now I go ahead and make a backup. All right, because we've got this site here. This page was just a default page. So we've got Parks Golf and all that. That's all there. It's all working fine. So I'm going to go over to the user portal now. Go into the actual settings on that individual site. And we're going to go to backups. And I'm going to say create a backup. And this is just going to be called um, clean install like that. Create the backup. And there we go. That backup has started. And that won't take long at all to run through. So on top of that in the overview area, because I've updated all these things, I'm going to say refresh right there. There we go, and that's refreshing. Now, before I go any further and start installing Cadence, something I like to do is reach out to support to say, let's turn on revisions. Now, by default, within um, a WP Engine site, you don't have revisions. So if I go into the dashboard and look at a particular uh, post or page, so we'll go to a page, and then go into this sample page here. What we can see is that within the page, there's no revision settings. So, you know, you can see that you've got blocks and things like that, but there's no revisions. So what we want to be able to do is make sure that we reach out to WP Engine support and we're going to ask them for this particular content and this particular website to turn on revisions. The maximum they'll let you do is five. So we open up the support. All right, so now we can see I've gone ahead and added some text here for the revision check and we can see that my revisions are now on. So we can see that that was the change down there. And um, that means that I can now roll back if I need to from any changes as I'm going through editing the site. I find this is really handy when it comes to first setting up your website. And now we're ready to begin installing the Cadence add-ons. All right, so for the next step within the Parks Golf website, we need to go and install a couple of different things from Cadence. Now we are going to be installing Cadence Pro. So right now, if we go and look at Cadence, we're logged into my account, and we can see that we've got Cadence theme. So we're gonna to have to download that. Cadence Pro plugin. So that's the premium add-on for the Cadence theme itself. So it is a plugin. We're gonna download the Blocks and Blocks Pro. We're not gonna worry about the pre-release stuff. Uh, we're going to have the uh, Capture custom fonts as well. And we'll go from there. From that point, we'll take a look at what's needed next. So I've gone ahead and downloaded all these items. Let's go ahead and start the installation process. All right, so now we're going to click on the add new theme item. And I'm gonna select upload theme, choose file. And we're gonna to go to the Parks Golf uh, folder that I have with all of my downloads in it. From there, I'm gonna click cadence 1.1.49 open and click install. This will install the Cadence theme to get me started. So this is the default theme and I'm going to click activate. That's good. And we're going to install the starter templates as well. And that will go ahead and get that in. I often start with a starter template just because it helps me get started real quick. All right, and we're gonna use one of these to start on our Parks Golf website. We're gonna pick one of these templates to start off our whole development. Um, so there's quite a few different options there, but we'll jump onto that a little bit later once we've got the rest of the setup done. Next, 
I'm going to click on the add new plugin and I'm going to say upload, choose a file again. And now we want to select Cadence Pro. This is the Pro add-on for the theme itself. Okay, so now I've activated that. It says that it's not been activated. Why? You need to put the license key in. So I click on that. And here we have to put in the Cadence Pro license key and license email. So I go back to my account, go to my product API keys, and then I get my copy of the key and the emails there as well. So I go back over to here, paste in my key, and then put my email address in that's registered for the account. and then click activate. And there we go. The Pro is now activated and this has now enabled things like my header add-ons, conditional headers, ultimate menu, header and footer scripts, all these different things that I'm gonna to want to use with this website. And as we go ahead and set up the website, we'll go through turning those on. But now I have to go back and we're still gonna to have to install a couple more plugins, particularly the block libraries. So we go to add new plugin again. Uh, we're gonna upload, choose file. Now we've got blocks. I'm gonna install that. Activate the plugin. That's done. Add another one. Upload. Now we're gonna put in the blocks pro. Activate that. All right, and now I need to go through the license activation because I've got a pro license, okay? So I've still got my key. I'm gonna put in my email and click activate. There we go, that's now activated. Back at my installed plugins here. So we can see that we've got everything there that we want. Add another plugin, upload. Now we're going to use the custom fonts. Activate. Oh, we've got the galleries here. Activating the galleries. And we have to go and activate again. Like so, that's good. Now we've got the recapture that we're going to install. And I'm going to install the DB Migrate. We're not going to activate that one just yet because we'll likely end up uh, activating that a little bit later when we start working locally on some of the other plugins that we have within our setup. But I like to just install it and have it active and ready to go. Uh, I will have to put the license key in and things like that um, and have to update the version that I downloaded. It's a bit of an older version, but we'll update that shortly once we start to synchronize the site down. Now everything's there, you would think I'm ready to go and install a starter template, but I'm not. Why? I want to install a child theme first or set up a child theme. Okay, so that's all activated and I need to also put the license key in there. So let me go ahead and do that.
Excellent. Okay, so now we've got all the plugins installed that we wanted. So that's Cadence Blocks Pro, Cadence Blocks, Cadence Capture, Cadence Child Theme Builder, Cadence Fonts, Cadence Galleries, the Cadence Pro Premium add-on. We've got the Cadence Starter Templates. We have the WP Engine Smart Plugin Manager. This will be used to use AI and the tools from WP Engine to automatically update things. And we've got WP Migrate that will be used to synchronize this site in a more granular way to my local setup. So now that we've got all of that ready to go, we need to go into some uh, setup to be able to set up the child builder. So I go to child builder on the left hand side. All right, we've got our child theme builder. We're going to call our theme parks golf, parks golf, author, parks golf, child theme for cadence. Okay, so just click save on those changes. Okay, so then we're uploading that to the media library and we can see we've got that. It's all good. Save changes. All right, so make sure that you've got everything here written down well. You don't want to end up with spaces in things um, or anything like that, particularly when it comes to the child slug. I've had things before where I really struggle to delete a folder or um, it generates something a bit peculiar. So we've got that child theme there. I'm going to say generate child theme by clicking this button. And that will now go ahead and create my new theme for me. And I download it as a zip. All right, so now that I've got that, I can go over to themes, say add a new theme, and then upload theme, and I can put that into there, the new Parks Golf, and say install now. This will install my new child theme. And then I click activate, and the child theme has been generated, and there's the thumbnail that we just made. And you can see when I go full screen, that was the image that I created inside Canva. So now that that's all activated, now it's time to go through the next steps of choosing a starter template, starting to add all our content and all of those sorts of things. Mm -hmm.